As a Sigma male, I don't usually consume content, but when I do, I prefer 2K to give me that Sigma soul sustenance. Keep leveling up, my friends. Hey, what's up, Kaijus? It's your boy, Kaiju Kong, aka 2K, man. Anyway, some of you might be wondering why the hell I have earphones on. Well, this leads me up to the video topic of the day. And this video topic comes as a suggestion from a brother of mine named Swalik. His channel name is Swalik Inspires. Go ahead and check it out. Swalik, thank you very much for the video suggestion. Swalik asked me, how do you remain calm under pressure? And that leads me to why I'm using these headphones. Because these headphones right now are blasting rock, hard rock music, hardcore rock music. It's annoying, it's hard to concentrate. Remain calm under pressure. People say it's a mindset thing. It's remain calm, just be calm, breathe in, the box technique. Probably you've heard all of that BS before. Frankly, for me, it doesn't work. And sometimes when you're in that moment of pressure, when you're in that situation itself, it's hard to actually remember all of those tips that you learned. Thing is, for me, it's good that you asked this question to me, Swalik. And I don't know why I didn't come up with this video topic before, because if you'd ask those who know me personally, my goodness, this music. If you ask those who know me personally, they would tell you that perhaps I am one of the most calm people that they've met. Especially when they put me in situations where they are very high pressure situations at work, in life, anywhere. I'm the one who does not lose his cool. Now, how did I do that? Even I was astonished and I realized like, hey, yeah, everyone else is losing their heads. So why am I the only one who's calm? Well, when I thought about it, and I compared my life to theirs, I realized the reason why I can remain calm is because I have went through a lot of situations in life. I was about to say shit. A lot of situations in life that put me under pressure. And because I went through a lot of pressure in my life and I went through a lot of situations in my life, almost everything else that followed, it doesn't stress me out as much. It's just like the, um, the TV series Peaky Blinders. You know Thomas Shelby. <laughs> Tommy Shelby, my goodness, his music. Thomas Shelby, he seems so calm. Why is he so calm? Because he went through a lot of shit in his life. He went through constant heartbreaks, he went through the war, he went through having to go through different situations that got him to the top of the gangster world. And that's why he remains so calm, he does not flinch. His face is always the same. Same thing with my life, guys. How many of my friends and how many of other guys can tell, can tell other people that they went through the experiences that I did, like, let's say, almost getting stranded in a foreign country. In my case, that was Laos. I had to... Uh, I lived in Thailand for a time, for around six months, and in order to get the visa, to re renew my visa in Thailand, which is stupid enough, I had to go over to Laos, the Thai embassy in Laos, to renew my visa and then jump back to Thailand. And crossing that border, was uh, kind of tight in terms of the hours and I was almost stranded because of the stupid transportation network. I was almost stranded in Laos, not able to come back to Thailand because of the transport network and I didn't have any money. I was broke at that time. But nevertheless, I remained cool. I had to jump out of the bus windows and all of that. That's anyway, that's a story for another. That's a story for another video topic, guys. And how many guys can say that they fell off a boat? <laughs> the boat went off 100 meters away, 100, 200 meters, without even stopping. And I was the bastard there in the water swimming. So I was like, hey, come back, guys. Like, what the hell? And those waters were shark infested. Thing is, I told myself not to lose my cool. Because if I lose my cool, it's just, it's you die. Thing is, sharks, they sense that there's movement in the water. But if you remain calm and you just swim. Luckily enough, I was a um, competitive swimmer at the time. So even that, you know. In my life, there are two reasons, two ways to remain calm, two things. Preparation and mitigation. Preparation is what you do in advance for those situations that you think will give you pressure. And mitigation is what you do during those stressful situations. In preparation, it is true that the more you sweat in times of peace, the less you bleed in times of war. The more you train, the less likely you are to suffer when the, the time really counts. That's why they usually say in competitions, in athletics, the event is not won during the day of the event itself, the event is won during the training sessions, during those times when people are not looking at you, during those times that you sweat in silence, away from the spotlight. 
And then finally on the day of the race itself or the day of the event, that is when those countless sessions of training and sweating and crying, tears, blood is shown. And whoever trained most in silence is the one who wins those events. Pressure. The way I see it, pressure can be broken down into two things. Pre-sure. Before you are sure, that's when you feel pressure. Pressure comes when you are not sure of yourself. How can you be sure of yourself if you've never tried it before? How can you be sure of yourself if you've never gone forth and broken through those comfort zones? Of course you're gonna feel pressure talking to the girl if you've never talked to girls before. But if you talk to 20, 30 girls prior to this one girl, you're not gonna feel so much pressure because you are already a little bit sure of yourself. Just like when you join a competition, when you run a marathon, the more pressure you feel, the less you train because you feel pressure because you're not sure of yourself. So make yourself sure, as sure as possible. When you go to get through the job interview, you feel pressure because you're not so sure. If you did mock interviews, if you practice, if you walked around in that establishment before the day of the day of the interview itself, you're gonna feel less pressure. It's naturally the same thing. <laughs> this music. It's hard to keep it. It's hard to keep my mind straight. Another thing is you have to guys you guys have to keep your testosterone levels in check. Testosterone is a very manly hormone. And the thing is with testosterone, the higher your testosterone levels are, the less stress you actually feel. Now those of you might think like, but wait, doesn't if you have more testosterone, don't you get more aggressive? Yes, aggressive, but aggressive not in the stressful way. Aggressive in a calm and cool and collected way. Why do you think the most manly people, James Bond, of them, they exude a very calm, cool, collected persona? because they have high testosterone. Keep in mind guys, look at those guys who are older. The older you get, the less your testosterone levels are. And the older men, how come they're so cranky? How come they're so grumpy? How come they're so pessimistic? It's because their testosterone levels are lower. Lower your testosterone levels, the higher your stress levels are. It's the same thing. So keep your testosterone levels in check, guys. Make sure you sleep at optimal levels. Some guys want eight hours, some guys want six hours, some guys even less, or some guys want more. Just know how your body works. Make sure your nutrition is on point. Make sure you get all the key vitamins down, the key minerals, zinc, vitamin D. Make sure you get plenty of sun. Make sure you are consuming plenty of fats. Cholesterol. Cholesterol is a good thing for men. Because cholesterol is a building block for testosterone, guys. Keep that in mind. And make sure you exercise as well. Not only your upper body, make sure you exercise also your lower body because when you exercise your legs, it gives you a boost in natural testosterone that exercise in the upper body cannot. And also incorporate HIIT training, fast twitch fibers, don't go too much for the long distance. Long distance is good, but keep their balance. In the balance, testosterone levels are good. Now we get into mitigation, guys. What you do to lessen the pressure or to remain calm during the stressful situations. Number one, just don't see it as a situation, guys. <laughs> That's the problem. See the situation as an opportunity, as a way for you to evolve, a way to grow. See it as an opportunity, see it as a challenge, not a situation. And just then you will shift your mindset. Also know that these things, whether positive or negative, all these things in life, they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. They are temporary, not permanent. The only permanent thing in life, guys, is change, death, and taxes. Change, death, and taxes. No pain, no pressure. It will pass, guys. The way you should see it is how strong are you? What are you made of? Are you made of wood or are you made of steel? Remember, a strong animal and a weak animal. What's the difference? When you give a strong animal a pressure, let's say radiation, the strong animal refuses to die. It channels that energy. It uses that energy to become even stronger. It evolves, it adapts, it becomes probably a mutant, it becomes a kaiju. That's what happens with the strong animal. But a weak animal, the same thing, same DNA, same genes. A weak animal, when it receives pressure, radiation, it cannot take it. It mentally, it's like, oh no, I don't know what's going on, and then it dies. So whether you're a strong animal or a weak animal, the same thing. What, how do you use the external? How do you use the external circumstances to change you? Changes you for the better, changes you for the worse. It's the difference between becoming a kaiju or dying. The universe gives you things that you are ready for. Sometimes you may not feel it, whether good or bad. It gives you things that you are ready for. These challenges, probably you're experiencing challenges for you to learn from, for you to grow from. And this brings me back to the point of how you see things, your perspective. 
When I was younger, I had an argument with my brother. And of course, you know, sibling rivalry. It's natural, it happens in the family. I was having my argument with my brother and I was kind of pissing him off, teasing him. And he got really pissed off at me. And I told him that you know that you're angry. Your anger is not, it's not my fault, it's your fault. No matter how much I tease you, if I punch you in the face, if you see it a different way, you become angry or you become calm. It's actually, it's all your fault. Whether you see a, a, a such circumstance, whether it pisses you off or whether you don't care, it's actually up to you. The way I saw it is that when you go to a different country and the locals, they curse you, they say bad words to you, but in their own language and you don't understand, it doesn't process in your brain. So no matter what they tell you, you don't know whether it's good or whether it's bad. Probably you read the context or you read the body language, but just hearing the words itself, you don't know what they're saying to you. So you don't know whether to be pissed or whether to be happy, whether to smile. It's the same thing, guys. When you hear things or when you go through situations, it really matters on how you see things. Whether it makes you angry, whether it makes you calm. If someone directs things at you to make you piss off, if you see it and say like, I don't really care or I didn't even understand what you were saying, you're not going to be get pissed off. It's not going to tick you off. And they're going to wonder what the hell. They cannot shake you. You're, um, you're unmovable. You're your own man. You're free from the cares and worries of other people. That's it, guys. I tried to keep this as quick as possible, especially with this music blasting. It's hard to really concentrate. But hopefully you guys got something out of this from me today. And if you did, do leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. And if you haven't already done so, do consider subscribing to the channel. This is the channel for the Sigma Males. We are not only lone wolves or tigers here. We are looking to evolve into Kaijus, the true Sigma spirit animal. And with that, thank you very much for joining me, brothers. This is Kaiju Kong signing off. Take care.